Hey guys, what's up? It's me again. Sorry that I'm using the old mic, but I still will use the new mic. It's just, I'm kind of in a pinch right now, so I have to make a video out really quick. I hope you don't mind. So, the new Great Ace Attorney just came out, and I'm, I'm pretty excited because, um, as you know, I actually watched the entirety of the Great Ace Attorney, both 1 and 2, and I felt like this would be a good time for me to talk about it to you. Tell you what, and because the fact that it's not translated, a lot of you haven't played the game, and so they kind of give me a unique position in the Ace Attorney community. And so, because of this, I kind of wanted to share some things that I really enjoyed about the Great Ace Attorney, um, that you might as well. Don't worry, this video is spoiler free, as not many people have played the Ace Attorney game. As someone who's played both Ace Attorney games and watched walkthroughs of it, the experience is practically the same, and, and if it weren't for the fact that I watched a walkthrough of it instead of playing it, I'd say that the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles is one of the best Ace Attorney games out there. And so, I'd like to show a couple things that I really like about it with you guys. Now with that being said, let's begin with the 5 things you should know before playing the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Now, I think the biggest thing about the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles is that it has tons of new gameplay features. I mentioned this in my Phoenix Wright vs Ace Attorney review, that they had gameplay elements of that added into the Great Ace Attorney. That being the uh, multiple witnesses, the comparing, contradicting witness testimonies, and other things. And that is seamlessly added into the Great Ace Attorney. Not only are multiple witnesses back, but because this takes place in the UK, there is now a jury, meaning that you get to have a session where you contradict the jury's statements, so that you'll be able to proceed on to the trial. That's really neat, but that's not all. Uh, the Great Ace Attorney has tons of new other gameplay features that are completely original. Take for example the Sherlock Holmes investigation sequences. You've probably seen it in the trailer, but it's the section where Sherlock Holmes- No, I'm not calling him Herlock, okay? I'm not calling her- uh, I'm not calling him Herlock. But there's these uh, investigation scenes where Sherlock Holmes uses logic and deductions to solve the mystery, and it's really fun and it really spices up these investigation sequences. A lot of people say that the investigation sequences are kind of dull. I don't think so, but these really just spice up these moments and make investigations fun again. Um, so yeah, I think it's really important for Ace Attorney to kind of spice up its gameplay and have more features, because I think that's something the series kind of lacks. So I'm happy that the Great Ace Attorney is kind of shaking things up a bit. Speaking of shaking things up a bit, another thing about the Great Ace Attorney is that it's a lot more ground to earth and less zany than the actual Ace Attorney games. There's still a lot of goofiness and wackiness to be had, but there's, there's, the conflicts feel more serious, the, the killers feel more realistic, everything just feels a lot more grounded, but yeah. That, I really like that because it show it's kind of, people have been kind of wanting a more kind of realistic kind of Ace Attorney game. It's still very lighthearted, but it has a realism aspect to it, which I think is really cool and makes this game really stand out. Another way it stands out is number three, it has new character dynamics. A lot of people complain about how the character dynamics in practically every Ace Attorney game are the same. Uh, you got the everyman lawyer, you got the wacky female sidekick, people call them the Maya clones, and, and yeah, and the clumsy kind of detective guy. But here's the thing, despite looking the most like Maya, Mikotoba is actually not a Maya clone at all. She's a lot more ground to earth and kind of helps, uh, is kind of the brain, uh, not the brains of the operation, but she really kind of helps, uh, Ryanosuke Naruhoto when he's in a stressful situation. He, I mean, she brings him down to earth and stuff. In fact, I'd say out of the two, Ryanosuke Naruhoto is the kind of more expressive, zanier one of the two. Of course, all the zaniness goes straight to the detectives, Sherlock Holmes and Iris Watson. No, I am not calling them Sherlock <laughs> Holmes and Iris Wilson. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Uh, <laughs> man. Okay. 
So, yeah, with this new dynamic, it also gives itself a uniqueness that not even the Edgeworth games really had. And speaking of Sherlock Holmes, the fourth thing we have is that there are tons of Sherlock Holmes references in these game series. Each chapter of the game is named after a Sherlock Holmes story, or based on a Sherlock Holmes story, with some creative liberties. Um, and a lot of people who've actually read the Sherlock Holmes stories, the actual ones, say that despite the creative liberties they take with Sherlock Holmes, he's probably one of the most accurate representations of the character in its own way. It really has the spirit of the guy that not many adaptations of Sherlock Holmes have, and it's really something that uh, Shudokumi actually admits that he loves reading uh, the Sherlock Holmes book, so it makes sense that he put a lot of love into it. But there are tons of Sherlock Holmes references that I that flew over my head and are very obscure. Um, I would love to name some, but I don't want to spoil it too much, so I'll just name one. There's uh, Tobias Gregson. He's kind of the rival dude of Sherlock Holmes, but he still helps a lot. Um, there, there are tons of other characters. Uh, so if you re read the Sherlock Holmes books, you're, you're in for a treat. You're going to see a lot of fun references. And finally, the the last thing that I want to say about The Great Ace Attorney is that it is really good. While I do, do enjoy Dual Destinies and Spirit of Justice, I feel like it is not as good as the other, the other four games. Though, they did try, and I do say that they aren't bad, it's just, it's a little lower quality than the other games. But... Fortunately, um, Shudokumi is back, and he has some great stories, it's really amazing, the, the cases are great, the, the characters are amazing, the story, it's so good, um, I can't wait for all of you to play this game on June, uh, 23rd, or whatever it is, because The Great Ace Attorney is something you really gotta play for yourself, I know I am. I am going to make a more in-depth video once I play the, replay the game, and it's going to be scripted this time, uh, where I talk about how um, the Great Ace Attorney kind of does what Spirit of Justice doesn't in, in that video as is it A, and it will be scripted and after I replay the Great Ace Attorney. It will be fun seeing all the translation differences. There's going to be a lot of Sherlock Holmes characters changed. It's going to be really fun. Uh, so yeah, are you excited to play The Great Ace Attorney for the first time? If you've already watched a walkthrough, how do you feel about it? Please don't spoil anything in the comments, I, I beg of you, because a lot of people haven't played these games, and I can't wait to see what people are going to say about it, because I love these games so much, and I can't wait to see all of you feel the same. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!